Representative Dan Lowers grew up in St. Clair County agriculture and has gained the trust of his district's farmers by listening to their concerns. Dan's importance goes way back with agriculture, even prior to being a representative uh, for St. Clair County area. Uh, Dan's had strong ties through his family growing up in ag and then running an ag business in the area. He just has a talent for uh, listening and communicating to others about agriculture. And that's the one of the strengths that I really like to see in a person, and especially a representative um, that knows agriculture. We, we always have problems whenever um, some, someone gets elected. We have to, we meaning the, the farmers, have to do some educating. We have to teach uh, the, our representatives about agriculture so that we can, we can explain uh, issues that come up and they will understand. Dan already knows those issues. The biggest thing that Dan's done that's helped our district was the MEEP legislation. Uh, being on the front of that, being chairman of the House Ag Committee, Dan's um, involvement in that was very important and instrumental uh, for getting that passed, which does have a big impact on St. Clair County uh, farmers, myself being included being a MEEP verified farm. Last year, Lauer sponsored House Bill 4391, a device for broadening and deepening the funding structure that supports the Michigan Agriculture Environmental Assurance Program. Representative Lowers is definitely one of those individuals that rolls up their shirt sleeves and, and dives into an issue and I think really took it both passionately as well as personally that this was an issue that he was interested in. And uh, once he committed to uh, really getting this legislation through the process, really did a great job of working with all the, the different interested parties to do that. That takes a lot of time and effort. Uh, it's not an easy thing. And he worked through the issues um, collectively with the different groups. Uh, really first wanted to understand Farm Bureau's policy position to, to carry that, that torch and uh, did a great job in defending Farm Bureau's policy position throughout those discussions. Um, you know, really exhibited that leadership that you rely on, on key leaders in the legislature, and helped to usher the legislation through the process. One of the things that the legislation provides is a, is a ongoing funding future for the program. Uh, farmers pay for uh, the program's administration through fees that you pay on fertilizers and pesticides. And part of the discussion of this legislation was how do we enhance that? Of course, Farm Bureau policy supported uh, extending the fee to all fertilizers, and that's the path that was taken in this legislative effort. Beyond that, there were reforms to improve the program. So the long-term strategy with the legislative effort was to do uh, a couple of things. One, it, it provide a more stable funding source for the program long-term, and also look at ways that we can uh, increase participation. Uh, you know, we've, we're doing more and more through the Farm Bill programs for conservation efforts uh, these days, but we've got to have technical resources on the ground in the counties to support that. And this legislation helped to facilitate some of those discussions. For his role in broadening the funding mechanism that underwrites one of Michigan's premier environmental stewardship programs, Michigan Farm Bureau is proud to present Representative Dan Lowers with the 2015 Silver Plow Award.